What's going on YouTube? Grimble Prime here, back with another video, and this one's for all the people out there using OBS, slobs, or any variation of the program that just want to capture or stream their HDR content without having to download any programs or add-ons. You don't have to do any backflips, just three simple filter settings, and that's it. It's not exact, but it's very close. Everyone can use it as a baseline and adjust if need be. I'll show you how to set them up real quick and then I'll be using Halo Infinite as my example to show you all the difference that it makes. Here we go. Once you have OBS or whatever program you're using up and running, we're going to head over to Game Capture, right click, go to Filters, Add Filter, Color Correction, you can name it whatever you like, I named mine HDR1. I'm going to go over to the Gamma and increase that to 0 0.20, down to Contrast, increase that to 0.25, down to Brightness, decrease that negative 0 0.0235, Saturation, increase to 0.75, Hue Shift, increase to 10, that's 10.00, and Opacity, we're going to leave alone. After that, we're going to head back down, add filter, chroma key, again you can name it whatever you want, mine is HDR2, we're going to select green, we're going to bring similarity down to 1, we're going to skip smoothest key color and opacity down to contrast, we're going to increase that to 0.15, brightness will be leaving alone, and gamma will be decreasing to negative 0.5. And after that, we're going to once again go down to Add Filter, Chroma Key, HDR3 for me. We're going to select Key Color Type, Magenta. We're going to bring the similarity down to 1. We're going to skip over Smoothness, Key Color, and Opacity once again down to Contrast. Increase that, 0 0.80. Skip over Brightness to Gamma decrease that to negative 0 0.10 and that sums it up for our three filters let's go switch over to gameplay and see how it looks Ugh. so here's the game without any filters and as you can see uh, it's pretty cloudy uh, colors are pretty washed out and it generally just does not look good Now we switch on our filters, HDR 1, 2, and 3, and look at that. Much better looking. As you can see, colors aren't washed out anymore, everything looks pretty clear, and it's a much better representation as to what we're seeing on our screens as opposed to whatever this is right here. Just ugly and unappealing. So there you have it. Quick fix, no downloads, no backflips, just a couple settings. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Hope it helps everybody out. If you did, and it does, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. All support is very much appreciated, and I'll be sure to get more videos out in the future as soon as I can. As always, everybody, I appreciate you stopping by, and we'll catch you on the next one.